Hi everybody and welcome to another PPC Hero video blog. I'm Sam Owen, I'm going to be talking to you about AdWords scripts. Uh, this is something that Eric Couch posted about yesterday and we have had a really great response to it so I thought I'd follow it up with a video post just to highlight a few things he talked about and also to give you a live walkthrough of how we do it. So, For those of you uh, wanting to write your own scripts to use in AdWords, the, you can go to script.google.com or you can go into the AdWords interface, bulk operations and then scripts and I'll show you that in just a second. Here you go, so here's a screenshot. Um, you should find that on your left hand side in your campaigns tab. Pretty straightforward to find, just click the, click the little scripts button here and you'll end up on a page that looks like this and from here you can click the create script button and you should get through to something like this. So this is JavaScript for those of you unfamiliar with it. I mean, you can do a lot of cool things with JavaScript. I am not an expert in JavaScript. We have a couple of people on our staff here who are really good with it. So normally we just offload tasks to them and they take care of it. But um, for the sake of this video, the idea is that these are two really easy reports to do and Google pretty much gives you everything you need to. And I'm going to show you how even an idiot can handle it. So why do we want to use these AdWords scripts? Well, the first thing is that we can make reporting a lot easier for ourselves. And I don't know about you, but reporting, it takes up a lot of my time. Um, so you can customize your reports any way you want. You can also avoid having to use thousands and thousands of pivot tables. You can get Google to do it for you. So you can pretty much specify what you want to see when you get good enough at JavaScript to do it. And then you can actually use your scripts to manage your account for you. So I know a lot of us out there have programs to do this kind of thing for us, be it DoubleClick or Kenshu or Marin or Quizio. Um, but kind of before that time, we had to do it manually, and Google has these uh, controls in place for us to do it. So we can set scripts to, to automatically make changes to our accounts, change bids based on things like click-through rates, conversion rates, um, pause keywords if they hit a certain spend without converting or pause ad groups into similar conditions. And then we can trigger things to happen. So one of the examples on Google's website is um, to change your bids based upon either the weather or days left until a sale. So these are all pretty cool things we can do. And then we can set up alerts. Uh, this is one thing we do do as a company. So if our KPIs are crazy fluctuating, we use a script to give us an alert for what's going on. And that's just so our account managers don't have to be constantly checking all of our KPIs at all points. The script will just alert us. So if we go to developers.google.com slash AdWords slash scripts, you'll see a little tab like this on the left hand side. Now the ones I'm going to show you are the ad performance report and the keyword performance report because these are pretty straightforward to do. Eric also linked to a really, really cool quality score historical checker yesterday. Um, sorry about my terrible English there. And that's really cool as well, so I, I recommend you, you check it out. So here's our ad performance report. So go to that page, click on the ad performance report, and you should go down and see a script like this. What you want to do is highlight over the entire script and you see where it says email at example.com. Just change that out to whatever your email is and that will mean it will report or send you an email report when it's ready. So once you've copied that list, go back into your scripts section in your account, the one I just showed you before, and copy and paste the script in and make the change there to your email address. Now what you'll want to do, so I'll just go back a second, you see here there's a big warning and it says authorize now. You want to make sure you click that and that just means that you've given Google permission to run the script and if it messes your account up it's not Google's fault. So here you go, grant access and then you should see something like this when you run your script. So you can see down here in my logs that I've just run the ad report for PPC Hero and, I'll, and it will say completed. The, the ad report's pretty quick to do, it should just take five seconds. Um, and I can also create a schedule, so if this happens to be a script that I want to run once a week or once a month, 
I can set that up right here. It's really easy to do. And then once once I've run that, uh, Excel document will be automatically set up for me in my Google Drive. Um, so be careful if you're not on your own account or there's a lot of Google Docs, then there you might need to arrange these um, once that's created. So you see this is pretty cool, the report that, that's generated. You can go down, it'll give you a list of the number of ads with different headlines. Um, there's a load of graphs in there that are pretty cool. So here we've got headlines compared to the click-through rate, headlines compared to the amount we're spending on them, and then all of our different landing pages. This is all from PPC Hero. So pretty cool stuff. Um, if we just go back a second, we've made our, our own one of these that also adds a few other things like conversions and conversion rate on. But hey, this has just saved me a ton of time. So let's, let's do the keyword performance report live. So here I am at the Google Developers page. I'm going to go to the Keyword Performance Report. I was already there. Now we just want to scroll down and grab the script that's in here. Oh. So I've just copied that. I'm going to go into my camp campaign, uh, into my account, sorry open up my bulk operations and then my scripts. You can see there's the ad report that I ran earlier and I'm going to create a new script for this keyword report. So I'm just going to paste over the the empty shell script which is in there. I'm going to um, name my script keyword performance report PPC hero I'm going to auth, uh, change the email address. And then I'm going to authorize my script. Cool, and now I've got permission. So the first thing I'm going to do is a quick preview, making sure that the script's working. This is more important if you're writing your own scripts. Um, Google will just kind of verify them, double check them and see if it shows anything. So this is just telling me that it's going to output to this Google Doc here, which is what I expect to happen. So I'm going to save my report, no, save my script, and then I'm going to run the script. And I'm going to run without previewing because I just previewed. So you can see here it says status running, and here it says started seven seconds, eight seconds ago. So hopefully this shouldn't take too long because this is just PPC Hero and we don't do too much PPC advertising for PPC Hero. And what I'm going to do now is go into my Google Docs and I should have a keyword performance report generated. So that was pretty straightforward, right? I mean, now we have a really cool set of graphs. I guess this is using the last week and we haven't been doing too much, too much with it, but um, in a busier account you would get a full breakdown by quality score of your impressions, clicks, your click-through rate. So really helpful, you can just get an immediate and fast overview of, of where you are in terms of quality score in your account. Um, we Again, we have a customized one of these that has our conversions and our conversion rate pulled in too. And that just requires a bit of tweaking in JavaScript. And the same for average position, so you can see um, where you're getting your most clicks in terms of average position, where you're spending your money. And then if you pull conversions and conversion rate in two, you can actually see pretty quickly and easily once a month or once a week or how often you want to run, what position is going to be the best for you to run in. So it's a really easy way to do some position testing. Then if we just look through the other tabs available here, you can see our quality scores. They're pretty low in this account. We, we don't look after it too well. Um, and then you can go through, and there's a load of really useful graphs in here, um, and cool things just to show to your boss or to your client, uh, or you know to do analysis in your account. So there we go. That's a really quick and easy report to run. It's 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 pretty cool and, and um, gives you some good data. So so yeah, and you see, I can now create a schedule and change it. And one thing I did want to show you guys is in my report, we're currently looking at the last seven days. So hopefully this works. 
our last week. So if you can see everything set in there last week, we can just go through and change this in the script. So say I want to see the last 30 days. I just need to go through and replace all of my last underscore weeks with last underscore 30 underscore days. And I think it's all of the um, ranges that are in there in your account normally. So last 30 days, this month, last month, last 90 days, uh, all time. So you can pull that and it, you can have it rolling. So if, I normally do last 30 days and get the report to run once a month. Um, and then I just get a bit more data in there. But really easy to do and then I can save my report again and, and just set it to run and schedule it. So now we've done that. Just going to talk a little bit about the different parts of the script available. So within your JavaScript, you have variables, and these are the, the basic containers for your data. You have function, these functions, these are blocks of code that return a value. You have loops, and these control when your functions are activated, and you have comments. So these are where you'll put in a, a bit of information to explain your code. And this is what coders love to read uh, for, for other coders, because it normally makes no sense. So your variables, you'll have a, a var number, and you know, number equals x. Numbers can be classified as integers, a simple number type. If you have words, they should be classified as a string. String value, this preserves the contents. Functions are a simple way to define a task and execute it multiple times when needed. So within your kind of squiggly brackets, you'll have your function name. Um, and then you also have your loops. So have conditions for operations, if, when, while, if else. So here's your example. So this is, if this situation is met, so if your number is uh, bigger than, is less than 10, then it will run for all integers between 1 and 10. And then there's a load of resources here. So. Um, if you're terrible at code like me, if you couldn't tell from that last hack job of trying to explain some JavaScript to you, um, Code Academy is really awesome. It's it's like a complete beginner's tool. Um, Mozilla has a pretty good resource for learning JavaScript there too. And then Stack Overflow is just uh, a load of forums where you'll get yelled at if you're kind of a newbie like me. So um, all recommended places if you're trying to write your own code though. And that's that. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching this exciting edition of What Do You Know Wednesday on a Friday. Um, I hope you guys can take codes away and think of some ideas for um, writing codes that will help you with your accounts. And if you do, obviously let us know. Um, give us a shout out on Twitter at PPC Hero or at Samo in PPC. Thanks, guys.